Hi guys, my name is Kathleen. I'm a Reiki master and spiritual intuitive and today I'm making a video about the divine feminine and the divine masculine energies and the messages I've been getting this week about how we can balance and restore ourselves so that we can have better interactions, relations and connections and unions with each other. So I've been getting really clear messages this week and I pulled some cards and they're very in tune and aligned with the messages I've been getting. So I'm going to start by letting you know the messages I've been receiving and then I'll go into the cards and their meanings. So the messages have been around our chakras and if you don't know what chakras are, they're energy centers in our bodies that um, surround different specific emotions, areas of life, physical things too and um, in men and women we tend to be predominant in different chakras so if you look at the way that our bodies are made it's actually very telling of which chakras tend to be more pronounced in women and more pronounced in men so starting from the root chakra which is the base chakra and it's red it tends to be more pronounced in men because men have genitals in that area that actually protrude and women have genitals in that area that actually go inwards. So you can see right there very clearly which one tends to be more dominant in the root chakra. And then in the sacral chakra, it tends to be women who are a bit more predominant in it. Women naturally have a bit more fat in the stomach area and we have that muffin top <laughs> tummy that um, is, is very predominant in women but not necessarily in men and so women tend to be stronger in the sacral chakra and I'll let you guys know too a little bit about what they each mean but the root chakra has more to do with stability, grounding, finances, safety, security. The sacral chakra has more to do with feelings, emotions, creativity, relationships, and then the solar plexus chakra was the yellow one and it tends to be more predominant in men. They tend to just have this area below the chest that sticks out a little bit more than in women. And that chakra has to do with your willpower, your inner power, your confidence and inner strength. And then women tend to have a stronger heart chakra and this is seen with our breasts. They tend to protrude a lot more than men's breasts typically do. And the heart chakra has to do with love. Um, it's a type of unconditional love. So it can be symbolized by nature and this connection that we have even to the spirit world in a very loving way. It can have to do with grief and things that are tied to passings and different things around love and spirituality. And then we've got the throat chakra which tends to be more predominant in men because they have the Adam's apple that usually sticks out so we see that more predominantly in them and it has to do with speaking and be, being heard and speaking your truth and even tying the other two chakras together to speak from the heart and from your intuition when they're balanced. And then the next chakra is the intuitive one and that's the third eye chakra and that tends to be a bit stronger in women. We often hear of women's intuition and it's just something that messages from our intuition, from spirit, from the divine tend to come a lot easier through women. And traditionally in past indigenous societies it was always the women that were sought after for spiritual guidance. Even the word shaman it says man in it, but it was typically and traditionally women who were shaman and were the natural, intuitive, uh, spiritual healers and people with guidance. And so the message that I've been receiving, the next chakra is your crown chakra, and this has to do with a connection to all, and it's more balanced between masculine and feminine. Um, but the message that I've been receiving very strongly this week is that what's happening in the collective is we're being asked if you're more predominantly a feminine energy, which is typically women, um, we're being asked to balance and strengthen the chakras that tend to be more predominant in men. So we're being asked to balance and strengthen our root chakra, our solar plexus, and our throat chakra. And then similarly, if you're a predominantly masculine energy, so usually men, um, you're being asked to balance and strengthen the predominantly feminine chakras. So your sacral chakra, your heart chakra, and your third eye. 
And this was really reflected in the cards that I pulled, so I'm going to start by doing the feminine reading and seeing what cards we got for the feminine energies. So we got the tree card, and this is really symbolic of the root chakra. We also got the music card, and this one you can see a lot of yellow, which is the solar plexus chakra. And then we also received the whale card, and this is a lot of blue, like the throat chakra. And then for the masculine energy, I pulled the wolf card, and this has a lot to do with instincts and the sacral chakra, your gut instincts and feelings. And then I pulled the green man, which is green like the um, heart chakra. And then I pulled eagle, and it's communion, and it's really speaking with spirit guides and your intuition or third eye. So I'm going to start by reading a bit of the meanings for the divine feminine for these three cards. So the tree card says, you have been feeling scattered and spacey lately. You're not fully in your body and that is because you have not been able to get grounded. This is quite literal in that your body is made of the materials of the earth. So when you feel disconnected from your body, you are inevitably disconnected from earth. So get yourself grounded. You can do so quite simply with your feet planted firmly on the ground wherever you go. Feel the etheric roots that are extended into the earth. Follow your breath so that each time you exhale, you can imagine these roots going even deeper. Each time you inhale, draw up the loving, nurturing power of Earth Mother. As soon as you have the chance, go outdoors and sit or stand with your back supported by a tree. Feel its solidness and integrity. It is simply being a tree. Breathe in the essence of tree spirit and allow this to fill you up. Walk barefoot very slowly on the ground so you can maintain this connection. And then for the music card. This is a time of considerable harmony for you, one where the various elements in your life are flowing together smoothly. Just as in music harmony, it is the interface of these elements that merge into a cycle of symmetry and balance that evokes feelings of harmony. The challenge is to sustain this inner accord even when there is considerable dissonance outside of your own mind, heart, and body. Note the sensations, emotions, and thoughts you experience when everything seems to be moving along well. Take three deep breaths and let your breathing be the anchor that reminds you of the state of consciousness. Whenever you perceive chaos around you, know that it is a mirror for your inner turmoil. When you recognize this, take three more breaths to bring forth the memory of those moments when your life was like a symphony. Then every time you exhale, you are releasing the energy of your internal state of harmony into the world and it will have amazing effects. And then for the whale card, it's time to take a break, not just a coffee break, but a respite from the usual environment you find yourself in. That trip you wanted to take, go for it. Tired of being indoors, make it a point to get outside. You have become so attached to your surroundings that you have created within them an illusion of safety, yet it is not these things that make you feel safe. Rather, the familiarity you have imbued in your surroundings have generated this false sense of security. Taking time away from the familiar is literally about changing your external environment in a significant way, such as doing something unusual or perhaps something you have always wanted to experience. Another perspective is breaking through the barrier of beliefs that have constricted you in any way from being who you truly are. This is your opportunity to do some intentional breaching of these thought patterns which will open you to different worlds and perspectives. So another message that I've been receiving is how women or this feminine energy tends to be very nurturing and we're very outward looking and we give love very easily to the people around us, whether it is our romantic partner or our children or our friends, anybody in our life, our community. And on the other hand, the masculine energy or men tend to be a little bit more driven on their work and they tend to be a little bit more internally focused. And this right now is kind of being asked for us to not completely switch, but to embrace the opposite sides of that. So if you're a feminine energy, we're being asked to focus a little bit more on our work or our mission in this world and to focus inward and really focus on ourselves a little bit more. And if you're a masculine energy, you're being asked to focus a little bit more outwards and 
to focus your love and devotion and attention to a partner or to your family, your children, or to your community, your friends and the world around you. And so it's really just cultivating that balance within ourselves so that we aren't, if we're women, we're constantly focused on a partner, then it gives them less room to focus on us. And if we're a man and we're focused, or the masculine and we're focused more inwards, then it doesn't really give the people around us what they truly want and need really is a connection and um, bringing forth the two of those and balancing them will really help us have a stronger connection within and with others. And it's not to say that either of these are better or worse. There's pros and cons and there's good and bad. There's positive, negative, light and dark to all of them, depending on how you perceive it. As a woman though, or the feminine energy, if you're focusing your attention outwards too much, then you can it can actually become stifling to the people around you who um, it just might be too much for them, for your focus and attention to always be on them. Whereas when you go more inward and you're focusing on yourself and your own well-being, you allow the things around you to happen and to take place in a more harmonious way. So that's like with this music card, just stepping back and really focusing inward to that beauty. This is a beautiful card because it is two women and it's just showing how we can support each other and be there for each other and create this beautiful music. And I feel that's even tied to the throat chakra too of singing and allowing that music to flow through you and to feel alive. And instead of um, gaining validity through connections with people, gaining validity from within instead and really feeling that inner power that comes from listening to certain powerful musics or creating that music too. And this is another card that really talks about taking that time for yourself and to feel alive doing something different, getting out of your comfort zone and doing something that really brings about, brings about a spark or a passion within you. And then grounding is an amazing feeling because that really has to do with your root chakra and creating stability for yourself, whether it's financially or security and really knowing that the earth is always there to support you. Trees provide you with fruit and the foods you need to eat. And so really just thanking those trees and connecting with them and knowing that Gaia, this earth energy is fully supporting you along your journey. So for the masculine energy, I'm going to start by reading the wolf card and this says instinct and it says you have lost touch with your instinctual sensitivities. It is the result of cultural and or religious prescriptions dictating that anything wild and instinctual is threatening and therefore has to be controlled or eliminated. Now is the time to overcome this limited mindset and tune in to these instinctual cues. Let the spirit of wolf be your teacher and call upon this benevolent being for help identifying what those specific cues are saying. Shed some of your inhibitions with the only guideline being to do no harm. Experiment by getting out of the straitjacket of familiar societal norms and listening to those sensations in your gut that are trying to give you a message. It may be a warning or an urging to take action of some sort. Take some deep breaths and simply notice what your bodily sensations are telling you. Your mind will be the receiver of that information and your body and mind can learn to work more closely with each other once again. So this is beautiful for that sacral chakra that has to do with really listening to your feelings and your emotions and trusting them. And then the green man or synergy. This one says, you have the advantage of an incredible synergy at this time. A flow of life is guiding you, where things just seem to fall into place as you move about your business. You're in a mutually cooperative interaction with spirit, as your will is aligned with the will of spirit and your mission is congruent with your sense of purpose. When this is happening, there's a synergy, a way that your life force is continually coming into balance with the forces of nature. There's also a synergy between your spiritual awareness and your personal self or ego. Be aware of the various idiosyncrasies of your ego and do not take any of them too seriously. Know that your higher self is always looking out for your best interests. In this cycle, tune into that guidance, however it shows up, and you will find that you move through life with greater ease due to a synergistic balance of forces expressing themselves as you. 
and this is beautiful because it's green nature like the uh, heart chakra and really talking about following your heart and that spiritual guidance that comes to you through your heart and then the eagle or communion whenever you experience a heartfelt communion with some physical expression of life plant animal human or anything else it is only then that you can truly feel how your life force is similar to the life force that is all around you it is only a matter of the differences in form an essence is articulated into the physical world in a multitude of ways that is the same in everything and everyone although it manifests in various shapes and characteristics this essence is spirit emanating from the core of all things communion with nature is essential for you now Take some time to do an open-eyed meditation with any nearby animal or plant. Relax your body as much as possible, breathe consciously, and keep your attention on the life form that you are communing with. After a few moments, you will notice a sense of the boundaries dissolving, a melding of the I and thou. You may even receive messages or impressions as you find yourself in the flow of unspoken communication. This really has to do with the third eye chakra, this unspoken divine communication. So these are some beautiful cards for the divine masculine energy. And it was also some beautiful cards for the divine feminine energy. So I hope this helps you out right now with anything that might be coming up for you and just really to sink into balancing all your chakras. And of course, chakras can be different in everyone, how they're balanced, but this is really a theme for the general collective on balancing our masculine and feminine energies. And by balancing them, what we're doing too is we're really appreciating the other. So if you tend to be a feminine energy and you notice that a masculine energy might be more um, focus on money or power or status or speaking and it could be something that bothers you a bit that they aren't as focused on relationships like a woman might be or the feminine energy or on their heart or their intuition instead of being frustrated about it embrace that those qualities are also very valid very valuable very essential and they help us have a balance together and really just having gratitude for those chakras those different emotional mental physical spiritual states that tend to be stronger in the masculine energy allowing yourself to embrace those and to even cultivate them within and similarly with the masculine if you might be frustrated sometimes if the feminine tends to be more focused on relationships or on love or on her intuition and not being as grounded in the physical or on doing more realistic and practical things and focusing on money stability and status and speaking or hearing you speak and there could be sometimes a discord with that because you might not feel appreciated for what you have to offer so instead when you when you really cultivate what it is that the feminine tends to be stronger in you also develop um, an appreciation for what she brings to the table and how that creates balance so this is really just about us creating harmony within to accept and appreciate others and to accept and appreciate ourselves and to really develop this sense of wholeness within ourselves and to feel really whole and full and fulfilled on our own so that we can come into connection with others in a more balanced and sacred way. <sighs> Thank you so much and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more too. I'm wishing you guys so much love, happiness, wealth, abundance, prosperity, and may you be happy, healthy, and free. Bye.